We begin this talk about merger is looking at the past. This is a timeline of the Williamsburg Church. They were combined with Emmanuel, the United Methodist Church, was left in 2005 to join Asbury to form the Travers Bay United Methodist Church. This left Williamsburg on its own. In 2006, Pastor Doug retired. Now on their own, Williamsburg faced a whole new series of questions for the future. Do they go it alone or do they cooperate with others? The Elk Rapids timeline and Elk Rapids and Kuwait have been together for a long time, but in 2006, Pastor Tom was reappointed. This left some questions for Elk Rapids and Kuwait. Do they continue on just as a two point charge and hire a full time pastor to serve the two, or should they cooperate? The decision was made to turn these questions into opportunities, and they formed WERK and brought on Pastor Julie and Bill with a goal of, over time, filling our sanctuaries with faithful disciples. And now we're together and we're dancing in a three-step plan originally designed for the SPRC to follow. Step one was to cooperate, pastoral staffing, and support. Step two was to get acquainted via combined programs. And we've done this through the combination of our Christian education, our mission and outreach, our worship opportunities, such as worship in the park, and evangelism opportunities, as well as fun opportunities like skiing and baseball games and vacation Bible school. We've been receiving new members into this combined community. And now the third step, marriage or merger. The benefits of merger would be worship. Traditional and contemporary might be offered. Our choirs would benefit because of more people. In addition, we could answer the desires of the community to have more children involvement in the choir, in special instrumental music, as well as involving the older children, our youth, in the choir, in other aspects of worship, such as new emergent worship opportunities, praise teams, as well as an opportunity to showcase some of their many musical gifts through the special music. Other benefits of merger would be in the ministries of family, youth, and children's ministries. Small group ministries and youth ministries would, would be richer and more developed. And we could develop more family activities with such a broader group. And with the pooled resources, we might even try things like sports activities and missions. Other benefits of merger include fellowship. Our seniors who we already have could get together with a broader group. We could combine women's fellowships. We might reignite men's fellowships as well. Young adult ministries might emerge as we reach out to new people in the community. In addition to this, and families, we might reach out to folks like singles who are often neglected in the church. Other benefits of merger would be mission and evangelism. We pool our money and pool our resources to help others monetarily. We can continue to do our local commission missions to Acts and other locations. Mission trips, we could pool our resources to take trips to do missions and throughout the world. All this with a key with a focus on evangelism and bringing new people to Christ. We combine our Christian education as a, as a benefit of merger. A new facility would also be a benefit where we could all worship together as one community and fulfill ministry goals that we aren't unable to do. This would be a less of a financial burden and a new building would draw new people in. We've already joined as administrative council at Elk Rapids in Williamsburg and we've researched some mergers. Some of the assets that have been researched. We brought in Michael Sheridan and Associates to do this assessment. Elk Rapids Church has been appraised at $320,000. They also possess rental property, and that property has been appraised at about $230,000. Williamsburg Church has been appraised at $350,000, and they also own vacant land across the street, valued at about $70,000. Merger means reorganizing for something new. Merger of administration and finance, one worshiping community, and a merger of our ministries. 
some of our steps. Well, now we have to offer a proposal in consultation with the district superintendent. This proposal would be available for review, for congregation review, on August 1st. It would then go on August 13th to the bishop. With the bishop's approval, we might be able to adopt it at our fall charge conference. Thank you.